Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel FPJ Made Easy. On this channel you will learn about the FPJ technology and programming from basic to advanced level. For more videos subscribe this channel by click on the subscribe button and follow us on our Facebook page for notification. This video is very important for undergraduate, graduate and postgraduate research student because in this video we will talk about uh, fault injection technique and various uh, types of these techniques along with their advantages and disadvantages. So let's start. Fault injection technique plays a vital role in testing and dependability analysis of target system. According to the definition, a fault is deliberately introduced into the system under test and then the response of fault free system is compared with the copy of the system under test containing internal faults that is faulty system and after that results are used in quantifying the verification and robustness of the system under test. Fault injection tools are distinguished according to the way they insert fault into the target system. Four main methods exist in which fault injection analysis is possible namely hardware based fault injection, software based fault injection, simulation based fault injection and emulation based fault injection. However, hybrid fault injection technique can be created by combining two or more than two methods. Now we start with hardware based fault injection. Hardware based fault injection uses additional hardware to insert fault into the hardware of the system under an investigation. These tools are divided into two categories depending on the faults and their location in the target system under analysis. Hardware based fault injection technique with contact and hardware based fault injection technique without contact. In hardware based fault injection technique with contact, fault injector is in contact with the target system. Some examples are pin level active probe method or socket insertion method. However, hardware based fault injection technique without contact, fault injector has no physical contact with the target system. Some examples are heavy ion radiation and electromagnetic interference method. There are certain advantages and disadvantages of using hardware based fault injection tools. Some of the advantages are using radiation technology it can inject fault at location which are impossible by other methods. The second advantage is of hardware based fault injection method is dealing with the actual hardware in most cases hence no verification is required. It is suitable for low level fault models and fault injection experiments on hardware based fault injection are very fast. There are few disadvantages of hardware based fault injection tools as well. Number one, it introduces high risk of damage because we are dealing with the direct uh, uh, original hardware. The number of injectable locations are limited. Fault models can uh, and limited fault models can be used because uh, if we are considering a single uh, chip for the hardware based fault injection technique and we want to test it then we have only the pins of the chip are in only the fault can be inserted on these chips uh, on these pins of the chip. A specialized hardware is required to carry out the experiment such as automatic test equipment. Observability and controllability are limited with these type of tools. Now the second category is software based fault injection. Software based fault injection technique is an approach for analyzing the consequences of the hidden bugs in the operating system or a software. Software faults are the primary cause of system outages. These faults occur in the location such as CPU, memory, buses, user accessible register, disk, disk system and network communication faults. 
these tools can be classified according to the way of when to inject faults that is compile time or run time in compile time hardware based fault injection the program instruction must be modified before the program image is loaded and executed errors are introduced into the source and assembly code of the target uh, program in run time technique a mechanism is needed to trigger faults some of the techniques to trigger faults are timeout exception trap and code insertion there are certain advantages and disadvantages of software based fault injection tool as well first we discuss some advantages no special purpose hardware is required number 2 low implementation cost because no special hardware is uh, required in this way we on, we can access those location which cannot be accessed by the hardware based fault injection tool such as we in we, using the hardware we cannot go inside the chip but with software based fault injection we can go inside the chip and in, inject fault in the registers in memory and in, in cpu etc experiments are run in re near real time because today's uh, processor are very fast there are certain disadvantages of using software based fault injection tools such as limited set of injection instant because we are depend on the assembly code or uh, the software which is running uh, which are running and which is uh, testing faults cannot be injected into location that are inaccessible to software we cannot inject fault in those uh, locations uh, for which we don't have instruction or a, a assembly code for that modeling of permanent faults is very difficult to be implemented limited observability and controllability because we cannot see uh, how the faults are uh, propagating and how the faults uh, uh, how the faults are uh, responsible for the failure the execution of fault in injection software could affect the timing of the system behavior simulation based fault injection simulation based fault injection involves the construction of a simulation model of the system under analysis it means that the errors or failure of the simulated system occur according to the predefined distribution there are two types of simulation based fault injection number one is code modification technique and another is simulator command technique in code modification technique this technique requires the modification of hdl code and adding some fault models such as stacked and bit flip mutant or subverted are injected in the hdl code or at, uh, at in, in the net list simulator command technique signal variables values of hdl models are changed through simulator command such as force and d force we use in the model sim there are certain advantages and disadvantages of simulation based fault injection tools as well so first we discuss some advantages so the first advantage is there is no risk of damage of the target system under investigation because we are using the simulation model of that uh, system it is cost effective because no real hardware is used we have higher observability and controllability during fault injection campaign modeling of both transient and permanent fault is achieved with ease support all abstraction levels there are few disadvantages as well like large efforts needed to develop a model for the real system, real hardware for example if you want to test uh, using fault injection technique a processor then you need to develop a model for that processor which is very which needs very large efforts 
simulation time increases with increase in circuit size because our simulation uh, software are slow so it takes more time if the circuit is getting bigger and bigger accuracy of model affect the result of the experiment so first we need to verify that our model is performing the same functions like a real hardware so this is also a disadvantage now the last one is emulation based fault injection various fault injection tools have been developed which inject fault in fpga based design at various location for evaluating design characteristics fpga based fault injection tools also called emulation based fault injection tools have advantages of both real and simulation based technique such as speed and flexibility the fpga design and development flow consists of many stages where modification of the design is possible for the fault injection analysis we have already discussed what are the different stages of fpga design and development flow where modification is possible for that video the link is given in the description so there are two method two types of emulation based fault injection or fpga based fault injection tools number one is reconfiguration based technique and other is instrumentation based technique in reconfiguration based technique reconfiguration utilize utilizes the built in facility of partial and full reconfiguration technique and works on at the bit stream stage however in instrumentation based technique a fault injector circuit name saboteur is added to each fault site to produce the preferred fault model saboteur is a circuit which remains uh, which which is when inactive does nothing but when it is activated it injects fault in the system there are certain advantages of emulation based fault injection tool because it is developed by uh removing the disadvantages of simulation based fault injection so few advantages are injection time can be improved as compared to simulation based fault injection time and area overhead reduction using partial reconfiguration technique high observability and controllability but less than the simulation based fault injection thank you for watching this video if you have any question you can write in the comment section or contact us on our facebook page for for any question or any query thank you